It's Dave Hammond, Hammond Motorsports. Hey, today I've got a new 9-inch Ford rear end housing that I built using the aftermarket center section. And what I want to show is a few different things about these. One that I do with the rear ends, first of all, they're all made in the USA, center section as well. Then when we build these things, one thing I do is I take time and I make sure that my weld's low here so if you've got suspension cages with bearings, the weld is low enough that the bearings will slide on with no work on your part. Now, another thing is just because it's a new rear end, you can see here, that <clears throat> you think it would be perfectly straight. It come out of the jig really good. Here I want to show you something. This rear, this is how far, if you look here on the dial, I know it's a little hard to see, but there's 10, 20, about 33, 35 thousandths run out. Now, I will take the time and straighten this rear to get it within 10 thousandths of run out at the wheel stud here. Now, I see a lot of people advertising rear ends for sale and they ask you to straight to say they are or whatever. Now, there's a couple ways to check them and you don't have to have any fancy tools. One, if you got just put the hubs on it, mount tires on it, put it on the floor and wheel chalk it, spin the housing 360 degrees, and I'll see, see if you can watch this here. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do everything at once, but you can. What happens is when you spin the housing, if it's bent, the hub or the wheel is going to move in or out. That will tell you if it's bent. So, but just wanted to show some of the steps that we do um, with these rear end housings here at Hammond Motorsports. So, anyway, just wanted to share that and thank you. Bye.